A glass cylinder filled with a N number of moles, uh, 0.91 of air is capped with a movable piston that can slide frictionlessly up and down the cylinder. The gas is adiabatically, adiabatic, meaning Q equals zero, compressed by rapidly slamming the force down with a constant force, force, over a distance of 14 centimeters, which is the same as 0.14 meters. What is the change in temperature, delta T of the gas? Draw PV diagram, part of the representation, make sure it includes adiabatic process, isothermal lines, and shade according to work done on by the gas. Well, let me check, investigate what happens to delta T as the distance, I'm going to call this delta X because I like it, goes to zero. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is draw a picture because it's the first thing we always do. We have a piston and we have a cylinder. And the piston moves down, specifically it moves down with a force of 190 newtons and it moves a distance, delta x, of 0.14 meters. And we want to know the change in delta t. Delta t equals question mark of this spot right in there. All right, so now the second part of our picture we're going to do is the PV diagram, pressure volume. Oop, we'll do some pressure on the y-axis, volume on the x-axis. Then we're going to do an adiabatic process. I'm going to say it looks kind of like this. Not really done to scale, but that's okay. And maybe a little bit more. Uh, there we go. A little bit more not to scale. And we're going from large volume to small volume. So I'm going to say that goes this direction. Okay, so now we want to know the temperature change. So to do that, we're going to start with first law, thermodynamics, delta U, change in internal energy, equals, I'm going to say delta Q plus delta W. Now, a couple things. Um, this is, there's two ways of writing it. It's basically like the chemistry way and the physics way. Um, the chemistry way basically has to do with work done on the system. So basically work at doing to something and it changes the internal energy. Um, the physics way is this is basically a negative where it's done, uh, work done by the system. Either way is totally fine. Um, as long as you understand what you're doing. So in this case, I like to do the plus W because when I'm like, all right, what's the energy changing of the system, the fluid right there, the change is the heat we add to it and the work we do to it. And so for me, that feels more intuitive. So that's kind of what I go for. Um, the other thing is I put deltas here, the change in heat, change in work, that's completely unnecessary. Heat is always a change. It's always a flow from one side to the other. And work is always a change in uh, energy. Basically, you go from one, one energy level to another, change in work. And so the delta, the change is implied. I like to put it in there just to be like, okay, extra, draw my attention to it. But it's understandable that some people will be scornful of, of that notation. Which is fine, totally reasonable. All right, game face. So first thing we know is adiabatic. We said change in Q is zero. Or as I said up there, Q is zero. I know my notation, I didn't write a delta up there. Totally inconsistent, amateurish at best. All right, so our change in internal energy is gonna be completely due to work. We're told that we have a force over a distance. So work equals integral F dot dx. This is a constant force, and we're going to assume, it's not said, but I'm gonna assume that the work force is actually pointing down. Like if the force is pointing this direction, then it'd be different. We're not gonna go with that. We're gonna say force is pointing down. So F, so the dot product just becomes multiplication because a dot product is a measure of how parallel two vectors are. We'll assume they're parallel. And this just becomes F delta X. And so the work done is force times distance moved. Okay. 
So now we want to find delta u. So this is an easy problem that you can make really hard if you overthink it. So I'm going to say that energy is n c v delta t, where n is the number of moles, c v is the um, specific heat for a constant volume. Now your first thought here is, wait a sec, our volume totally isn't constant because we're pushing down this cylinder. That's true. It's just the formula. Um, don't overthink it. This is an equation of state. It tells you between two states independent of path. And so this is the energy of a system of a gas, ideal gas, due only to temperature. This is just a constant. So it's easy to be like, oh, constant volume, constant pressure. No, just this, just this. Don't, don't overthink it. This is, this is the internal energy for a, uh, a gas. So we're going to look at our beginning point and end point. I guess I'll put a little delta here. So the beginning end point is defined as beginning temperature, end temperature, delta T. So I guess it's delta U. Um, N is the number of moles. That's going to be 0 0.91 because we're told up here. And so up here we have 0.91. So that's where we get that from. And then the CV constant is going to have to do with the degrees of freedom, basically how the uh, molecule springs, how springy it is, in which directions. Specifically, um, for a monatomic, it's three halves. For a diatomic, it's five halves. R, where R is the gas constant. I know. Another, another constant to throw in there. So uh, five halves because diatomic. And the reason I say diatomic, this is kind of a big assumption here, but uh, they say air, air, 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, 1% argon. And I know, estimation. Nitrogen and oxygen are both diatomic two atoms in their molecules, therefore I'm just going to ignore argon because no one cares. It, it becomes radioactive, activates, but other than that, eh, it's just kind of there. And then negligible amount of carbon dioxide, which causes, which gives you carbonic acid. So we have this, so now we're just going to put it all together. So delta U, N, C, V, delta T, which is what we're trying to find, equals F delta X, now I'm going to rewrite the CV once just so I can, because I can. So we get N 5 halves R delta T equals F delta X. Rearranging all this for delta T, we get delta T equals, uh, let's do F delta X times 2 fifths divided by N R. So we want to look up what R is real quick. So to do that, we'll go to gas constant, Wikipedia, lots of different ways of looking at R. So for this one, we want, uh, do we want joules? Yep, we want joules, because our work is in joules, because uh, force times distance, we use force in newtons, and distance in meters, therefore we'll have joules. Uh, degrees Kelvin, yep, that'll just give us our temperature difference, and we have moles. So 8.314 is going to be our R. And it's nice because um, there's lots of different ways of uh, basically writing R, and that's because you have different, different pressures, like um, atmospheres, bars, tors, PSI, Pascals, that sort of thing. And so it just basically goes through all the iterations. Saves the conversion factors. All right, so two over five times our force, which is 190. Our distance, which I think I said was 0.14. This is 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters, yep. Over our N, number of moles, 0.91 times R, old reliable. Oh, 8.314 going over to Wolfram. We'll do 2 divided by 5, multiply by the numerator, divide by the denominator. Our numerator is going to be 190 times 
And our denominator is going to be 0.91. We're going to multiply that by R, which is 8.314. And we get an answer of about, give or take, nope, that is Wikipedia. There we go. This is Wolfram, two-fifths, 190, 0.14, 1.4. We'll say 1.4. I'm happy with 1.4. So we'll say 1.4 degrees Kelvin, which... Uh, Kelvin is just a different starting point than Celsius. So when you look at delta T, Kelvin and Celsius are the same. In this case, Celsius is going to be 1.4 degrees Celsius, maybe 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so let me check, investigate what happens. Delta T, piston, push for a short distance. Okay, so we want to shade the lines. So as mentioned earlier, work equals integral I don't think I mentioned that. Work equals integral P dV. It's the same as integral F dot dx, except um, it's just written slightly differently, but the exact same concept. Not something to uh, worry about. So now, the area then, so if you think of uh, integral as area under the curve, this area under the curve is going to be work, and for this diagram, it's going to be uh, negative, or intuitively looking on this, um, the work is going to be get put into the system. So there's going to be work done on the fluid, raising the internal energy of the fluid. So work done on the fluid, on the gas. Uh, that's shading, corresponding work done. That's going to be work done on the gas because we're adding energy to the gas. But let me check, investigate what happens as delta x goes to zero. So I'm going to look at this, copy, paste, bring this down with the delta t off to the side, because though useful, not desired at this point, limit as delta x approaches zero. This becomes 2f over 5nr times zero, which is zero. And therefore, that would be equal to delta t. So it's basically saying that if... We're pushing down this piston, but it doesn't move, the temperature is not going to change, which seems reasonable as well. So that's how I do this one. Um, to recap what we did, real quick, drew a picture, ideal gas law. We then looked, we then said that delta Q equals zero because adiabatic process, no change in heat, no heat coming in, no heat going out. Um, we then looked at the um, energy of a fluid based on solely the temperature and a constant. Uh, we didn't get hung up on the specific heat being uh, at a constant volume or constant pressure. We just symbol CV. We know that it's five halves R because it's diatomic molecule as opposed to a monatomic, which gives us three halves R. I uh, looked at the ideal gas constant, did some math, and got an answer. Uh, one thing you might be tempted to try to do is look at um, ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. Um, though I like that instinct, that would lead down a terrible rabbit hole, and though possible to get your way out of it, not worth it, you just go this direction. So, hope that helped. That's how this process goes. See you next time.